galera, bom dia Corremos de SRX ontem, corremos não né Porque deu ruim, chegamos em casa Duas da manhã, são 7h15 Estamos indo, indo Para a pista, esse fim de semana É o grande prêmio aqui em Indianápolis No circuito misto, fim de semana Normal para mim, vamos trabalhar Ver se a gente consegue a primeira vitória Da equipe esse fim de semana, muito trabalho Pela frente, vocês vão acompanhar aí O dia todo, da minha rotina Diária na pista aí, pra vocês acompanharem Um pouquinho mais de perto, bora How are you? Good morning. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Where am I going? We're going to the inlet. Yeah, where is it? Go left. Fall that all the way north. North, okay. You Thank good? You. Yeah, man, you? Thank you. Hi. You're so flashy. How's it going? Morning. Good to see you, Bruno. Morning. Yes, we are. He's, he, his photographer's going with us. Um, so for the moment, have the opportunity and the honor, actually, hands down, to ask Tony Kanan here, better known as TK. Give him a During the month of May, we do a lot of activation. I mean, uh, you guys, you guys are from here. You know that it's all over town, and one of the things that I always do is to go visit kids that are ill at Riley Hospital. And we do a, an Indy 500 evening, and we try to, obviously, a lot of kids that have cancer, really close to my father, with my dad. So three years prior to the Indy 500, 2013, I was there. And when I started racing, my mother, you know, Brazilians are very religious. My mother gave me this good luck charm. There's like a little color, colorful donut with a little bracelet, like a little chain that I'll put it around my neck. Since that's gonna protect you, you, you have to wear all the time. Obviously, I grew out of it with my neck, and I was I always wore it in my pocket. I had it my entire career. That day, we practiced until like 5 p.m. I had to go to the hospital at six, I was late. I took my suit out, and that was in my pocket. The suit was gonna go to the cleaners. So I put it in my jeans, and then I left. So went to the hospital, did the visit, before I left the hospital, one of the nurses is told me, can you come up to the first floor because some of the kids could not come down because they are really sick. I said, sure. So I walked to a couple of rooms. The last room was a girl, she was 15, 16, like intubated and her, mom, her mother was beside her bed. I walked in, I introduced myself and I can see she had pictures on the wall and I said, what happens is, well, she was playing softball and had a stroke and she's been in a coma, an induced coma for five days and tomorrow is her surgery. And I was talking to her and I have a habit, I, I reach my pocket just talking. And I reached that thing and I said, look, I don't know if you believe in this, but this is the story, I told the story that I told you guys. And I gave her the good luck charm. She went to surgery the next day, sent me a message that was extremely successful. We lost contact, that three years went by. So we qualified 12, card day, uh, which is the day before, the, two days before the 500. I'm in my bus, my PR guy comes in and says, hey, I have an envelope for you. 
and I said, sure. So I grabbed it, opened the envelope, there is a letter. Say, hey, Tony, it's Andrea, and you, do you remember me? I'm the girl, blah, blah, blah. I've been watching your career, uh, your quest for the 500, and this year's your year. Here's your good luck charm back. You better do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I put it in my pocket, we start that race. So I I, I, <clears throat> I cheer up every time I, I tell the story about it. We, we started that race, we took the lead. 20 laps into the race and I'm like, this is great. So we, we raced, it was very competitive. It was the fastest Indy 500 to the date. Uh, it was the most passing, I think. So I'm P2, Jimmy comes in the race, says, Tony, it's gonna be three to go when we, two to go when we start the race. You probably don't want to pass Hunter A of the stock because it was a lot of passing. And then he's gonna pass you back anywhere there is. So Jimmy, um, I don't care, it's gonna be all or nothing. I, I need to take the lead. We took the lead into turn one, Dario crashed and, and that was it. So uh, mm -hmm. I won the race and, and if you guys ever watched the footage, um, the way I was celebrating when I crossed finish line, I was pointing it up saying, yeah. Dad, I told you I was gonna do it. So that's, um, you know, the promise I made to my dad and how special this place was and how, like, because it, I, I am who I am because of the English father. It made me, so uh, that's why. Fala, galera, é o seguinte. Hoje a gente vai levar o, o Caio Bush, o Buxinho, para dar uma volta. Eu tenho certeza que ele vai tentar ele guiar. Mas eu, a gente fez uma ação com o Lucas Oya, o Lucas Oya é patrocinador da McLaren e dele. Então vou levar ele para dar um rolê hoje. Bom dia, choveu de noite, tirou a borracha da pista toda, Nascar vai andar, vai treinar agora de manhã, então vai ser uma borracha diferente, uma corrida meio, pra gente vai ser até o primeiro pit stop assim, porque aí a gente vai botando, colocando a nossa borracha na pista, vai ser interessante, estratégias diferentes, Cinco dos carros que estão entre, entre os seis primeiros no campeonato estão largando de 15 quinto para vigésimo. Vão tentar fazer alguma coisa em estratégia. Parece que não vai chover. Mas, para quem assistiu a corrida aqui ano passado, que deu aquele dilúvio no meio da corrida, nunca se sabe. Então, um dia interessante. A pista está começando a ficar mais agitada. A NASCAR corre amanhã. Está ficando com cara de dia de corrida.
¡Dale! 